Hi everybody and welcome to the long-awaited 0.9 KOS update. I know it's been a long time since I've updated and I know a lot of you are probably dying to hear my voice again, so here we are with another exciting update. This version features a much needed overhaul to the expression system, more on that later. First let's go over some of the smaller stuff. You can now get the current CurboScript version programmatically. You can get the whole version number as a string, or you can query the major and minor number. You can use this to help you write scripts that have contingencies based on different versions of KOS. The rounding function has now been updated to allow you to specify exactly how many digits you want. And there's also now a mod function if you'd like to get the modulus of a number. If you'd like to control your landing legs separately from your landing gear, now you can. Simply use the word legs instead of gear, and you can turn it on and off and toggle it just like landing gear. You can also control your panel separately if you like. and you can deploy parachutes using chutes, which you can't see working here because I'm on the ground. You can now get almost as much information from external vessels as you can from the current vessel. Here I'm grabbing the altitude of a vessel that's on the ground. As well as the facing the up vector, the distance. The current vessel is actually treated the same way now and you can grab a pointer to it through the ship binding. But of course the old way of getting these values of just typing altitude and just typing Apple apps is still work. Your resources are also now exposed this way both on the current ship and external ship. Resource tags are now deprecated in favor of that, but you can still use them. You can now target celestial bodies. Right now they're set up as just global bindings, so you can see there I'm typing just set target to move. And I can also get some stats on celestial bodies in case you wanted to know the mass of the moon or its apoapsis, or its parent body. You can also grab the distance to a body, which is based on the radius of the body, so it's roughly equal to your altitude over top of that body. And I can uh, confirm that here by grabbing the distance to Kerbin and comparing it to the altitude. I've started adding support for editing of sub-values of objects. So here I'm going to create a vector. And let's say that I just want to change the y value of that vector. I can simply reference it just like if I was going to print the value and just use the set command to edit that value. For vectors, you can also set the magnitude. And what that will do is it will try to give you the uh, corresponding vector that is in the same direction but has the magnitude you asked for. This is not yet working with the lock command, and the only other object that supports that right now is the node. So here I'll try creating a node and then adding it. And it's just a blank node, it's got all zeros. And now I'm just going to change the prograde and we'll see what happens. One thing that has been missing from nodes is uh, the ability to get the apoapsis and the periapsis. That's now been rectified. Okay, so let's take all this and put it together and do something useful with it. I'm going to start a new program here. 
and I'll start off by declaring a parameter. And then I'll create a node. Again, all zeros. And add it. Now I'm going to say, until that node's apoapsis is greater than or equal to the parameter that, that's been given, add 5 to the prograde of that node. Okay, so let's try running this. Just for fun, I'm going to give it, as the parameter, the altitude of the moon. Let's see what happens. There we go, so we've automatically created a flight plan that will bring us to the altitude of the moon. But of course, the biggest change since 0.9 has been the new expressions. And this is really going to help out with a lot of the complicated code that people have been writing. Lots of structures, lots of nesting. Not the least of the problems has been with the order of operations. So here I've written a program that will just quickly test to make sure that that is working correctly. Great. Okay, let's try to break this thing. Here we've got negative 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by the sub-element of a structure that's contained within a variable, then cosigned, then signed, then rounded to 1 plus 1 decimal places, then concatenated with a string. All while using white space as we please. If this doesn't break it, nothing will. Perfect. Well guys, I hope you enjoy this update. I hope the wait was worth it. Until next time, thanks for watching and hack responsibly.